Well, typically the male fertilizes the female at the appointed time of year, depending on the species. They somehow uh, figure out how to get in proximity, I guess. And the eggs in the female mature into a larval stage called a glochidium that looks like a little miniature clam or a Pac-Man, kind of like a little Pac-Man. And when they're ready to release and start their uh, journey on a fish, they they are gaped open like this. And the female mussels have evolved various strategies to get the fish to come close enough to get larvae on them. And some of those include lures like a minnow for predator fish like bass and walleyes. And they come in thinking they're going to eat a minnow. And instead, they rupture the little membranes on the mussels' gills. Uh, the gill chambers hold the larvae. And they get into the fish's mouth and the little Pac-Man do their thing and clamp down on the gills. And then the fish's immune system produces a, a sort of a capsule around the larvae and they take their nutrients from the fish for one to three weeks typically and transform into an anatomically correct adult form of the muscle, only they're still tiny. And then they'll somehow, at some signal, they crawl out of that little capsule on the gills and fall to the riverbed and start their life as a muscle. And most of them get eaten because there's they can be you know hundreds of thousands per mussel produced, and uh, but some of them survive obviously, and then they turn into mussels and repeat the process. But in the meantime, the fish swim around, and that's how they get distributed upstream, downstream in rivers and up creeks and everything else by fish movement. So impairing the movement of fish impairs the distribution of mussels. mussels that are still fairly, well not common, but are still present in the Minnesota River, and several of them use the freshwater drum or sheep's head as a host fish. We think that in some cases at least, the female mussel actually sacrifices herself as food for the, for the sheep's head because they can, they have the ability to uh, eat shells and deep in their throat are these things called pharyngeal teeth, and they pull the shell, the whole mussel into their mouth and they start doing this and slam those teeth together and it crushes the shell. Well, if the female's full of gravid, or I mean gravid with these larvae that are ready to attach, then uh, the fish gets a meal plus they get to attach to the fish. And the mother's dead, so it's like the ultimate mother martyrdom routine. She gives herself up. And when those species are ready to release their larvae, we've observed them coming to the surface of the riverbed and rolling over on their back and opening their shells a little bit to look like a nice juicy piece of meat. So it kind of makes sense. Plus we find those species shells crushed in the river quite frequently, broken up into little pieces.